and Elliot Barber. They had just moved to Pennsylvania, and police say they met the man they are accused of killing after he responded to an ad on Craigslist in which the couple advertised paid companionship services. Troy LaFerrari, he's that 42-year-old married man. He was found on November 12th, left in a Sunbury yard. He had been stabbed to death 20 times. Three weeks later, police arrested Miranda Barber. They say that she confessed to stabbing LaFerrara repeatedly in her car after they had arranged to meet at a mall. She says they went for a drive. He started to touch her, and then she stabbed him. At the time, her newlywed husband, her husband of just three weeks, Elliot Barber, he came out and spoke in an interview in her defense. Here's what he said that this was uh, malicious whatsoever. I believe that she was attacked and that under those circumstances, she took the necessary measures to defend herself. So Miranda Barber was arrested first and charged with criminal homicide. Then police arrested her husband, Elliot Barber. They also charged him with criminal homicide. They now say that he was in the backseat of that car hiding and that he had put a rope around LaFerrara's neck to keep his head from moving while his wife stabbed him. Police say that Elliot Barber has also said that he and his wife just wanted to kill. They had tried before and they had not been able to, Fred. Wow, those are horrible details. And so this couple are, uh, is there any sort of track record or is this a, a first time offense? Do we know anything about whether there are other investigations involving them? Well, Fred, we know that they were new to the area. They had just moved here from North Carolina a few weeks ago. Police are focused on the investigation here in Pennsylvania right now, but we do know that Miranda Barber has a one-year-old child. The father of that child is deceased, and there is now an investigation surrounding that death as well, Fred. Mm. Alexandra Field, thanks so much.